Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy. Let's move forward with the story. Right. Bow Lord Lowen has information regarding your role in Green Bliss. Nan and Gridania condemned you were as deft. But to receive such praise from the Elder Seed Seer herself? And nor is that half of it. She chose you to play the role of emissary, for God's sakes. You, an outsider, do you have any idea what this means? But of course you don't. You are not for forest born, which is rather the point. Mistake me not, I think you're worthy, but your selection is all but unprecedented, and I'll wager that you have not the faintest inkling what is required of you. There are preparations that an emissary must needs complete ahead of time. I suggest you consult me on regarding the matter. She's overseeing the arrangements for the event. Now, you had best get going. The ceremony cannot commence without the emissary. Oh, and deft. Don't make a hash of this. We cannot read lore books off of shelves like we do in Elder Scrolls Online, so let's leave here. I think uh, this quest we cannot take it on until we're level... level 20. It isn't the emissary herself. Had I known you were coming, I would have baked a pie. You're truly full of surprises, Daft. Next, you'll be telling me you're one of the warriors of light, back from half a decade long holiday. But let's speak of preparations. As you doubtless already know, Grinblaze is an age old ceremony for strengthening the bond between man and elemental. These days, though, the name also refers to the festival at large. In the ceremony, the emissary serves as a conduit, a bridge between the people and the guardians of the Tallswood. Suffice it to say, it is no small responsibility, nor does the Elder Seed Seer choose mankind's representative on a whim. Seldom in history have none forced born been chosen for the role, which should give you an idea of the magnitude of the honor being accorded you. For your part, you are required to wear a ceremonial artifact, which is presently in the keeping of Timbermaster Beaton. Go to the Carpenter's Guild and collect it from the man, then return to me for further instructions. Carpenter's Guild? What do they do? Is, is that that people that make furniture or something like that in the game? What I mean is, I'm not saying I don't know what a carpenter does, I'm just saying, why would I want to join the Carpenter's Guild? What is that going to do for me? So you are the emissary to be. Mion sent word that you would be coming to collect the ceremonial artifact. The good news is that it's ready and painstakingly crafted by these very hands and from the rarest of materials. Take it along with this warning. Get so much as a scratch in the thing and I shall make an unceremonial artifact out of you.
back from your trip to the Carpenter's Guild. Let's see what you have in that box. Ah, this is by far the finest Manoa mask I've ever laid eyes upon. The Timber Master has truly outdone himself this time. In case you didn't mention, the mask is crafted from consecrated lumber rendered up by the Guardian Tree solely for use in the ceremony. In other words, it is priceless. Mother bids you to handle it with care. And with that, your preparations are complete. The venue should just about be in order as well. If you have any questions, now the time to, now's the time to ask them. No questions, let's keep it moving. All right, Mione has some final words of advice to offer regarding your role in Green Bliss. Now that you have the Ma Manoa, Manoa mask, all that's left is to participate in the ceremony. Perhaps, perchance you're feeling nervous, but never fear. Despite all the pumps around in the world, there is really nothing to being emissary. All you're required to do is wear the mask, stand up straight, and look dignified. The more involved aspects of the proceedings will be handled by others. Simple? No. Simple, no. The ceremony will be held at me. Meek Kettle's Amphitheater. When you are ready, make yourself known to the caretaker there, a woman named Estine. Oh, and be sure to wear your mask or she may not recognize you. Now off you go, Daft, and good luck. Okay, so we want to go in here. Here we are. Here's a stain. I think we've spoken to her before. I don't think so. Maybe not. Ah, oh, you must be the emissary. I see you have come prepared. That is well. I have been instructed to escort you to your place. Please follow me. Find favor with the elementals. This radiance. Could it be? A crystal of light? Tell me true. Has the mother crystal revealed herself to you? Did you bask in her light? Have you, perchance, experienced sensations akin to ether sickness of late? That Heidelin would speak directly to this woman. There once were dauntless adventurers who fought in the name of Eorzea. When the primals threatened to bleed the land dry, these brave men and women rose to face them. When the Garlean Empire resumed its war of conquest, they rushed to the realm's defense. And when it was foretold that Dalamud would fall, they fought with all their strength to deliver us from certain doom. Yet as strong and as brave as they were, they, like so many, disappeared amidst the flames at Cartano. None have forgotten the heroes 
who gave all for the sake of a realm not their own. Yet when we try to recall their names, we find the pages of our memories are blank, as if bleached by the sun. And when we try to recall their faces, we see them only in silhouette, as if they stood betwixt us and a blinding glare. Hence have these heroes come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Beholding you, illuminated by the glow of the crystal, I could not help but be reminded of them. The crystal has chosen you for a purpose. Trust to its guiding light, and all shall be revealed to you in good time. Though none can say for certain what the future will bring, it is my belief that you may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. For the power of the Echo resides within you. to the four. Victory belongs to the bold. Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of. The left flank buckles. Divert the barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives. The yellow serpents are in need of succor. Pray send the white wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is Autumnus? No, it is nothing. Won't go down so easily. Eyes forward. We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? 
Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swan! General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soir. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. So what I gathered from that was that I, oh, let's wait for this to end. Hmm, you mean to say you don't remember a thing? You collapsed in the middle of the ceremony, gave us all a good fright, so we carried you back here. I must say, you're heavier than you look. You've hardly stopped of late. Your exertions must have caught up with you. But you adventurers are nothing if not resilient, seeing as the worst is past. I shall take my leave and return to my duties. Oh, I almost forgot. The Elder Seed Seer told me she'd like to see you when you felt well enough. The gentle soul was almost as worried about you as I was, bless her. When you're back on your feet, be sure to be sure and visit her at the Lotus Stand. So, uh, it seems like the, the Dark Mages, it looks like it's an order of them. It's not just one of them, because we've just defeated the first one. 
and uh, he was there when Dalamid was uh, wreaking havoc on the whole empire. But uh, who is Louis Swa? Who is Louis Swa? I need to find out who that is. We don't know who Louis Swa is. Maybe, of course, the story is going to tell us later on. So, let's take a look and see where the Lotus Stand is. Let's go to our journal. At the ceremony, Kane Sena tells you of the Warriors of Light, the adventures who fought for the survival of your zero five years ago. The tale of these brave souls triggers inside your mind a vision of their final stand at the Battle of Katano. When you subsequently come to your senses, you're surprised to find yourself in a room at the Carline Canopy with no idea how you got there. Near at hand, Mion explains that you fainted and tells you to visit the word Elder Seer. Okay, come on. Let's close this one up first. It's still a little bit of a struggle. All right. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, so it's to the west. Okay, so the story is coming together one a little little bit by little bit. We're gonna find out. that we've attuned, oh yeah, we attuned ourselves to that one. It's not gonna be a problem. First, make sure we've attuned ourselves to that uh, etherite shard up here. I don't think we have. Let's just make sure we have. Guild. You have attuned yourself to all the Ethernet shards in Gridarnia. The Blue Badger Gate, the Yellow Serpent Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Ethernet destinations. You now have access to the Blue Badger, Yellow Serpent Gate, Airship Landing. Okay. So that would only happen if we had uh, attuned ourselves to it, and not if we had not. That's not very clear. supposed to be going. Okay, 
says that it's somewhere here, but uh Okay, let's talk to the conjurer there and see. Ah, you are deaf paws, are you not? I bid you welcome, my lady. The elder sits here left for that you would be joining her at the lotus stand when I show you in. Yeah, go ahead. Look forward to your coming, Death, but tell me, are you recovered? I'm most glad of that. Now, I hope you will not doubt the earnestness of my concern, but I would ask a favor of you, nor can I deny that I sermoned you here in part with this in mind. Know, however, that I proceed only upon the understanding that you are rested and well. Thank you for hearing me out. Let's see, Kani Sana would entrust you with the task of great import. I have written a letter to my counterparts, counterparts in the Eosian Alliance, I guess the other two. The Battle of Cardinal and the calamity that followed claimed countless souls and left countless more bereft and alone. In the dark days that followed, many were the survivors who brought themselves, who thought themselves less fortunate than the dead. Five years have come and gone, but the land and the people still bear the wounds of the devastation. Nor are we any closer to learning the fate of the warriors of light. Yet so long as we live, never must we give up hope. We owe this to those who laid down their lives that we might behold another dawn. In remembrance of them, a memorial service will soon be held upon the anniversary of the Battle of Cardinal. This missive bears the details of that service. You, you graciously accepted the part of emissary in the recent ceremony. Should you be so willing, I would now make you my envoy and have you bear my message to our allies. Your dedication to the people of Gridania rouses fond memories in me, and I would choose no other for the role. Will you do me this favor? Humbly, I thank you. As you're no doubt aware, our partners in the Eosian Alliance lie some considerable distance away, nor are Uldar and Limsa Lominsa close to one another. Yet fear not, for I have no intention of subjecting you, my own newly anointed envoy, to a journey which would take weeks by land. No, I mean for you to travel by air. Receive of me this airship pass. With it, you may make use of the skyways that connect the three city-states of the Alliance. The airship landing is situated upon the lower floor of the Caroline Canopy. Simply show your pass and you'll be admitted to the departure area. Before you embark upon your journey, however, you would do well to seek the worldly wisdom of Mion. Few first-born Gridanians know more of the lands beyond the Tullswood than she. In better times, airships will available for the convenience of one and all. Alas, the risk, of, the risk that our crafts may fall to Imperial attack has forced a reduction in the number of flights. Consequently, it has become necessary to restrict air travel only to those whose need is great. Such individuals may petition the relevant parties to be issued an airship pass. As you may have deduced, I myself am one such party. Yet, I was not alone in desiring that you be granted the privilege of air travel. Such is the potential you show. We have no doubt that you will reward our faith in you. By the power vested in me, I bid you journey forth as my envoy into the great realm of Eosia. Walk her fields, brave her seas, and strive to know her better. And wheresoever you go, go without fear, for the path shall ever be revealed to those who are true of heart. Guided by the crystal's light, set forth and discover your journey. Okay, I guess we've been given leave to live, uh, to leave 
this place. We're not trapped here anymore. So that's Kanisana. I guess she's the head of Gridania. The other one is Ulda, and the other one is uh, Limsa Limosa. Alright, uh, we're about half an hour in, so I think we're gonna take a break, and uh, when we come back, we'll pick up with more Final Fantasy XIV online. <laughs> 